Hi guys, this is Ezra St. White. Today we're going to be showing you guys a demonstration of the ProPress. We have a Milwaukee ProPress here and we're going to show you how I put together this tub spout attached to the valve of a shower tub here. This is the back wall. When I got here, I was sent to do a repair on, the, on a leaky tub spout, which I've now taken off. But this tub spout was right through here. It was attached together with these shark bite fittings. Had, had this shark bite fitting elbow, and then it also had another shark bite fitting that was twisted on there to the valve. And these shark bite fittings they have quite a bit of play in them. Uh, I can show you here. They're easy to take off and on, but this here, get this back on and I'll show you. So, the problem is with these is you can't use them for anything that people are gonna be touching outside of the wall, because they spin and that's fully on. So every one of them, they spin 360 degrees. Okay, they have quite a bit of play in them. And so with the tub spout on there, it was just spinning, it was wobbling, all kinds of ways. I couldn't get the spout on, and even if I could, I wouldn't warranty anything like that, because if it spout started leaking, and then it was this problem here, which I didn't, do then I just don't warranty these in the wall so I have to cut the wall open and I have to make the connections proper so this is what we're doing here let me show you what I've done I've already made my new tub spout with my rigid connections my uh, pro press connections here you can see they create a six-sided like hexagram type shape when it presses and it leaves a little signature pattern from the press but they're very solid so it's either this or you do the soldering inside the wall but um, this is really nice to use it's quick so let me do a demonstration of that. Let me set the phone down and we'll show you guys the Pro Press here. So what I've done was uh, I'm getting ready to twist this on here, this fitting, this valve fitting. And before I do that, uh, I want to attach it to my tub spout. Okay, just kind of temporarily, just kind of put it right on there. That way we can get it twisted on right without it being already twisted on and then we might not have enough room. So let's go ahead and get this twisted on. Now the tools you're going to need for this job are obviously some fittings and some copper. Uh, those are the supplies, but the tools are you're going to need a nice crescent wrench, um, another little wrench. Okay, so this little wrench here, now I can start tightening this down even further and then when it gets more stiff then I can go ahead and use my big crescent wrench I want to get this on here as far as it'll pretty much go so you see how helps out if I keep that pipe drop down in there. That way 
I twist this on and then I try to push that tub spout pipe up in there. Okay, so now it's getting a little tougher. We're gonna grab our larger wrench here. There, you can see <laughs> these uh, shark bite connections. You just put a little pressure the, the wrong way and they start to want to leak on you. So we're going to have to push this back together. tight now. Let's say it's about as far as we need it. Always make sure that we don't want to torque it down too much. got that on there. I think we're about ready to do our demonstration. Make sure that your pipe is lined up. Let's go look in the front. press here with our half inch jaws on there. It's our M12 Milwaukee. All right. So you're going to want to make sure you get it lined up. You want it. Make sure it's seated correctly. That 
press it together nice and rigid. Now we can do a water test. Make sure nothing's leaking. Let's go ahead and do that. good to children, be good to your family, and keep the Promethean spirit alive.